Hey, boom. Today we're gonna be making a beat from scratch in the style of Ghosty. Like the beats that he's making for CGM lately. All the stuff with Hunch and Savo. So we're gonna be going dark pads, dark vocals, gritty piano, cold 808s, all of that. All I ask in return right now is just press the like button. Because the likes have low key been falling off lately on the videos. Let's get 300 likes in this video and next week I'll do another tutorial around dark melodies. And if you're not subscribed, press the subscribe button, I beg. All right, let's get into making some melodies. As always, this FLP will also be on my Patreon. All right, so we are jumping into contact first. We're gonna start with a pad. And you know what? As an incentive for everyone to click the like button on this video, I will tell everyone the contact bank over on my Instagram story as soon as this video hits 300 likes. So if you're watching this right now and you know what, and you wanna know what contact bank I'm using, make sure you press the like button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And as soon as this video hits 300 likes, boom, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the bank on my Instagram story. So make sure you're looking at my stories too. We are in F minor. So we're just gonna do the classic kind of pattern for these for these pads. We might layer it as well. All right, we're after messing around with it. I'm after throwing half time on the melody. I put an EQ cutting lows. I'm after putting kickstart on one eight, and we also put another EQ cutting more lows. And it now sounds like this. Sounds kind of mad. And we've just consolidated out the melody and we've reversed it as well. And it now sounds like this. It sounded cold. Like I said, if you want to know what the pad is, make sure you press the like button, man. All right, next, we are coming into Clara's vocals. This is the bank that I used in one of my last videos where I said getting a certain amount of likes on the video and I tell you the bank. I put that on my Instagram story last time, but if you missed my Instagram story, this was the bank that I was on about. And to be honest, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to layer the exact same. I'm going to layer the exact same chords. X. What the fuck? Except I'm going to press Alt and Y. So I can flip them horizontally because the first melody was reversed. So now it goes like this. All right, with a bit of chop on, I'm, I'm after changing this a little bit. I'm after reversing this melody again. So I reverted the chords. I went back to the original uh, chords. I'm after reversing this melody. And we're after putting on a stereo enhancer onto it. We put on an EQ cutting lows. Also put on some Valhalla Vintage with a 100% mix on it. And now it's sounding like this. And then with the original one. All right, next, we're in Nexus. We're going to use a piano. I've got double half time on the piano as well. Yeah, I think I like that. Alright, and last but not least, we're going to come into Vocalize, and we're going to grab a vocal phrase from here. And then for the mix in the vocals, we're going to throw on a stereo enhancer again. We're going to throw on a lot of reverb. And we're also going to use a thing called Fresh Air. This just kind of boosts uh, the highs and the, and the mids. And now it sounds like this. Way more blended into the mix. All right, let's throw down some drums. And as always, we're going to be using all the drums from my newest drum kit, Empire. If you haven't copped it yet, here's a 10% discount code. It's going to be active for 48 hours only. So go use that right now. We're going to use the prime counter snare. This is kind of my go to one at the minute. Um, we're just going to start like this. Um, we're just going to layer this with another counter snare. This is how we kind of like build more rhythm by using a different counter snare to kind of fill in 
little spaces in between each eye hair. I don't like them with the start of them. And we're actually gonna take one more hat. We're gonna take the scump hat. Yeah, shout out Optic Scumpy. And on this one, I feel like I'm gonna put in some like low hats or something. And maybe like a build up of high notes on the top one. Yeah, see, on these on these notes here, it kind of just picks up the rhythm. All right, you know what? We're going to take one more count this now as well. I think I'm just going to layer these on the regular notes just at the start. Something like that. And I've just adjusted all the velocities as well, so it kind of adds a little bit more rhythm to it. All right, and obviously because it's in the style of Ghosty, we're actually going to take two of uh, Ghosty's perks and we're going to try to create a little bit more bounce just towards the end of the eight bars like he normally does in his beats. Yeah, something kind of like that. All right, next, we're using the bricked up snare. Now, I might add like a roll or something. Something like that. All right, now, onto one of the main elements of these type of beats is obviously the 808. You want a very gritty feeling kind of 808. You want some nice slides and stuff like that. Of course, we're using the Empire 808. I already hear, like, the first pattern in my head, kind of. Maybe this one over here. Right there. Two. And these two. Turn all these velocities to zero. You want to go a quarter step. I know, so knock them over one. Again, turn all these velocities to nothing. Uh, drag them all out as well. And obviously in all these ghosty beats, his 808 patterns changed all the time. So we just made an, uh, another 808 pattern that goes like this. Kind of still in the same style, but in, just in different notes. All right, next for these type of beats, I actually want to add, add in a, a bell as well. On the bell, we just laid it on C on two octaves. Also added a beat gate. And then last little touches, we just added in some uh, snuff perks. I just realized, I forgot to mention that I actually added in a dip, uh, another melody into this. So we actually added another piano. We just layered all the chords like this. And we threw a kickstart on the piano. And it sounds like this. Because when I was arranging it, I felt like, uh, I felt like it was kind of missing a little bit of something. Uh, so we start off. I actually need to make a new template soon. That's one thing I need to do. Because I'm sick of all these things that I'm using. I need to make a new template. Blah, blah, blah. Into this. We have a new 8-way pattern just without the kick. And we delay the kick on the intro.
mash up the kick pattern a little bit. And then boom, straight back into the hook. Delayed intro again. I feel like the melody is definitely in the style of like CGM, like Hunch and Savo. Drums, obviously, probably not exactly like Ghosties, but listen. Like I said, if you're trying to see what contact bank that pad is from, make sure you hit the like button. If that's not on 300 likes yet, press the like button. If it's already on 300 likes, still press the like button. Help support me. And if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And once the video hits 300 likes, boom, it's on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I appreciate you for watching. Run me up on Instagram and Twitch because man streams six days a week on Twitch. All right, good luck. See you later.